Hi, Sai here from Music Radar. We are at NAM 2020. This is the media preview day. It's crazy. It's going to be crazy this whole week, we know. But we're with Adrian on the RME stand. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Simon. Uh, nice to uh, see you guys here showing lots of stuff. Um, was it seven products you said? Seven products. Ooh. Well, we're not going to do all seven right now. We're going to, we're going to do this in nice neat chunks. Um, yes. Let's start here on the higher end stuff that yeah. you, were, you were mentioning. Um, yeah. Let's dive straight on in. What have you got for us? I think what's really interesting is it's 2020 and we're thinking about new ways of audio. So what will be the next future step for audio technology? And everyone is talking about audio network technology yep. and we stepped into it as well. We developed it for five, to, uh, five years, which is AVB, which is like the open format of Dante. And AVB gives us the control of more flexibility, better stability, and essentially, because it's an open format, and we've always been about open formats like Maddie, if some of your uh, users know, yeah. that's what we're into, and that's why we developed a completely new AVB range. Right. And that's what you're seeing here. Okay. Essentially, so, yeah. Going, carry on, carry on. Essentially, what we're thinking about in terms of audio networking technology, we think about decentralized networks. And what does that mean is that everyone that has an ABB network or ABB interface should be able to decentralize every spot on the stage or in his in-house or whatever he wants to do. Mm -hmm. So everyone can grab the stream, everyone can put audio into the stream, yeah. and everyone is able to listen to the stream and record the stream simultaneously. Right. So that's why we developed three new products. Okay. We have the ABB tool, uh -huh. which is like the desk tool that you would use if you, for example, have a studio with 96 channels, yeah. and you just want to have a little nice producer desk, right. then you can use that one. Uh -huh. You have the network, I show it in the camera, right here, and then you can just control everything from here. You also have four inputs that you can use into the network, uh -huh. and the same goes for our other products. This is the 12th mic. We're talking about 12 mic inputs, also four TRS inputs, in the best quality you can imagine. This is like really straight up to the best. In terms of noise, quality, conversion power, it's ridiculous. And everything is really handsome and nice to control. We have a completely new interface. Everything is controllable. We can select up all the channels, do gain controls, and add up as many channels as we need. We can control all 12, group them, sorry, group them, yeah. add different to them, and everything is good. Nice and easy, off the, all nice off the, and easy. Of the, the panel there. Exactly. Great. The last product here on the ABB range is the M1610. And that is essentially a smaller version of the M32 Pro that we released last year. Yeah. And this is 16 inputs, 10 outputs, Amazing quality, and the best thing of all these interfaces is they are all DC coupled. Oh. So for your CV gate out, uh, guys out there, yeah. every output can be used with your modular stuff. Awesome. Yeah, it's brilliant. And the conversion quality is as good as you know from RME. We are very keen on the conversion quality, yeah. transparent, very up to the best that you can get. Brilliant. If we go to the back, I just have to do that because I'm so proud of it. <laughs> we also have Matty. Sure. And Maddie is our beloved system. It's open, it's very stable, and it's 64 channels over one cable. Yeah. So all the Thunderbolt guys out there asking, how, how can I do more than 64 channels? Yeah, use Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a converter. Every unit that you see here is a converter. You can convert ADAT to Maddie, Maddie to ABB, what have you. This is a central powerhouse for every musician out there that wants to use as much inputs as possible. Yeah, brilliant. Um, Let's talk availability. Availability. This year and uh, I think after NAM, right? I think we're we're we're, we're, we're near. Out straight away. First quarter. So yeah, first quarter. Right. First um, quarter. Are you able to kind of allude to any price points at this point? Not really. I don't. No. I can't tell in U.S. No. dollars, um, but um, it will be soon out there. To be confirmed. No yeah. problem. So, so let's move on to the next chunk. Yeah. This is like the more producer and more, I wouldn't say entry level, but because uh, it's also a powerhouse. This is the Babyface Pro FS. Many people know the Babyface Pro. It's been like one of our best selling products because many musicians need just a very intuitive interface. And this is the one. 
You have four inputs, two microphone level preamps uh, on the top. I can show you around if you want to. Yeah. Two XLR inputs with phantom power. Two XLR outputs for your main speakers or what have you, compressors. And on the side, we have also TRS inputs. But they are also instrument inputs, so you can directly plug in electronic guitars, bass, what have you. And high, po uh, high power headphone outputs. Okay. The new thing about the Babyface Pro FS, that's why we're talking it FS, mm -hmm. is our jitter uh, technology, our clocking technology. We have the lowest jitter that is around there because we developed our own clocking technology. Okay. And this is for all outputs. So if you use your ADAT outputs, where you also have eight ADAT inputs and outs, this, this clocking is also transferred to the other uh, units. So it's like a stabilizer for your clock. Right, got you. And yeah, it's, it's, it's now there, it's better than ever. And for people that would like to use it more uh, to your main speakers, we now have a dip switch from 4 dBU to 19 dBU for the XLR outputs. And, and again, availability is going to be sourced. Availi availability, uh, availability is right now. It's right now. It's right. out now. Yeah. yeah, cool. And um, what can I say? It's directly controllable. All the inputs, you can control them over here. The outputs as well. And the big encoder is like a dream to use. It's Plus a headphone. Smooth. Yeah, as ever. It's a Brilliant. headphone out. It's a great monitor controller. Yeah. It's everything you need. And it's um, RME quality. And if I can show you something, yeah, sure. All the interfaces that you are seeing here right now are used are using Total Mix FX, which is our software to control everything, yeah. where we um, have the lowest latency available. We're talking about seven, four milliseconds of latency if you really put down the buffer. Yeah. And if you understood Total Mix FX once, you're good to go for the rest of your life. Yeah. Because all our interfaces use that. Yeah, brilliant. And what else do we have? Yeah, that, that's, that's my baby. <laughs> I really love that one. This is the ADI2 Pro FSR. This is our mastering grade AD and DA converter. We're talking about the best conversion quality that is out there. We are using the newest AKM chips, best quality. And it's not only very good in terms of quali uh, conversion quality, it has 24 dBU inputs and outputs. And it's also class compliant and has very powerful headphone outputs. So right. what you use can do, what we've shown here is, someone can listen on his iPhone, yeah. his music, in whatever quality he wants to. Oh, you can just do it. Yeah, control it through that. Brilliant. And if you're, if, you're, if you're into that stuff, it, it can also do DSD, 768 kilohertz. Playback. The audio files are love it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, for those guys. For those guys who want yeah. it, we can do it. Yeah, brilliant. And it also has an EQ, so you could um, EQ every input, every output, what have you. And the R in the FSR stands for remote. We now have a remote, so you can sit wherever you want <laughs> Do your volume controls, EQ controls for treble and bass, select the input, the coax input, the USB, everything that you want to is directly on the remote. It's it's a lot. Yeah. I know. <laughs> we did. A, we, we were very, very busy last year developing yeah, were, all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> so, there's one more. That's the ADI2 ADI FS. FS. Yeah. It's the same conversion quality. Yeah. But without the display. Right. Okay. And without the class, compli uh, class compliance stuff, it's a stripped-down version, mm -hmm. meaning just a DDA oh, in amazing quality. Yeah. 19 dBU, but put it on the back. You can use it with your normal interface. Just use it uh, via SPDIF, coax or optical, you're good to go. And you have the quality with every interface that you're using right now. Yeah, oh, brilliant. And obviously, as you say, that's, that's slightly paired back from, the, from this one here, yeah. the i2 Pro. Price point wise, is there a huge difference here? More than half. More, More than, than half. half. Okay. It's, and how it's, much? Uh, in, 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 okay, I can only say it in euros right now. That's fine. That's Six fine. nine nine for that one. For the app. And, and that is like. What more? Okay. 
Yeah. 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 In the US, that's $8.99. Yeah. Okay. But, you, but yeah. You know, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and these two guys are uh, available now? Yeah. Yeah. They are available now. Check them out. Listen to them. Yeah. Crank them really loud because they can. They can do it. Two watts uh, of, oh. of headphone power yeah. per channel. So. That's fun. They got some, they got some <laughs> meat to them. Uh, so these guys are available now. Obviously, yeah. the higher-end stuff, you're saying that's going to be Q1 and a Q1. Exactly. Sort of, yeah. yeah. OK, thank you so much, Adrian, for showing us through your very busy uh, amount of products that you brought to uh, it's, it's NAMM this, this year. year. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We haven't seen this video right now. Uh, do check out musicradar.com for all the latest NAMM 2020 news as we get it. And uh, we'll see you soon. So cheers.